everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have the December Somewhat Zen box. As you guys know, it's one of my favorites on my channel and I absolutely can't wait to get into it. I love how she wraps it in a nice little paper before the actual box and it is now coming in a mailer and I will describe that more at the end of the video because shipping has changed as well to make it more affordable. So that's super exciting. I've got it all loosened up and ready to go. Let's get inside. Alright, two administrative things about the channel real quick before we start. Uh, first of all, you guys know I still have my New Year's giveaway going on. It's, a very, it's my very first solo giveaway, so it's just me. I'm the only one running it. It goes until, you can enter until rather, January 8th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All the rules are in the video, so make sure you check that out. And you guys, there's a secret code word that you want to listen for or look for on the screen during the giveaway video that you need to include in your comment. That is a hint to anybody watching and supporting my future videos. There is your hint and as a thank you for watching my next videos. And secondly, I want to do a quick channel shout out, drum roll. I'm shouting out Teresa Starship. I will link her in the description box below as well as the end cards. Um, she's, as of I'm recording this, she's almost at 100 subscribers. Basically guys, in the 25 Days of Christmas mega giveaway collaboration that I did with a bunch of other influencers, uh, Teresa won the three month subscription to this somewhat zen box and I was so excited to hear that she won because she has her own channel and she's probably most likely going to be unboxing her winnings. So you guys, if you want to see the next three months of somewhat zen, as much as I love this box, I might not be able to get every single month. So head over to her channel and check them out. I also have my past unboxings boxings of May and June of Somewhat Zen linked in the description box below. But let's get started. And just one quick thing, when you do go check out Teresa's channel, if you like her content and subscribe, please let her know that I sent you. That always helps me out as well. All right, so we have nice green tissue paper here with the paperwork on the top as normal when I open it up. And of course, goodies are revealing themselves already. But we've got the beautiful Somewhat Zen Guide. I love the colors that she uses when she prints everything out. December's theme is going to be Mindful Holiday. Okay, so I'm sorry I'm a little bit late with this. Uh, we can blame a multitude of, two of factors, including the Postal Service. Um, and just to let you guys know, the curator sent this box to me completely free for my review, and I've really appreciated how much she's supported my channel all along. Um, she's absolutely wonderful. Anyway, let's get into this December's box because I smell something that smells so Christmassy and so wonderful. I cannot wait to see what it is. All right, so as I said, I have some, some shipping updates that are, I'm going to go over at the end of this video if you're interested in subscribing. So we've got a product guide on one side and a little bit of a wording from the curator. Her name is Ro, and I'm going to read that to you guys real quick before we jump into the items. All right, so here's what we've got. Whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, remind yourself that a gift is that life is a gift, so always be merry, generous, grateful, confident, and kind. Those are great words of wisdom. Our somewhat zen boxes are carefully curated to inspire a bit of calm and tranquility amid your daily hustle. Every month you will receive an 11-piece themed collection that can include handmade goods, bath and body, spiritual and crystals, guides and journals, health and wellness, home decor, whimsical items, and more. I do hope that the contents of each box inspire you to simply slow down and just be. And just so you guys know, uh, January's theme is New Beginnings. I'm really, really excited. And there's actually, she's got a renew. If you get this box, you get a renewal code if you'd like to keep renewing the box. So that's super exciting. That's a really nice of her. Uh, so thank you, Ro or Rochelle. Uh, I guess you go by Ro. That is awesome. And of course, as always, I will have her website and information on how to check out this box in the description box below. There's one more thing I want to get into because I think I was grabbing it first. 
Um, there is something new that she's adding to her boxes called freebies right there. There will be a small bag of freebies in every box. Additionally, there will be a free soap dish in the first box of your three, six, or 12 month subscription plan. So that's super cool. So I'm just gonna randomly guess that this could be the box of freebies, but maybe not. The first item, if I'm not, we'll, if, you know, if I'm wrong, we'll find out. I see a crystal, I see some cards, smile cards, crystals, right up everything in my alley that I love to unbox on this channel. All right, you guys, when I record, I don't see the overhead view that you guys see in the camera, so I could have just read the label. This is the freebie bag, but it's also not on the description card, so I figured it out. But there's more than one way to skin a cat sometimes, am I right? Uh, so let's see. We've got this beautiful, beautiful amethyst, oops, amethyst crystal. I cannot wait to see what this looks like. The bag of freebies is amazing. It really should be counted as items themselves. But we have this piece of a nice raw amethyst. You guys know I love my crystals. Especially, I like seeing different, I mean, each amethyst, each crystal is different. And that's what I love. In case you guys are wondering what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing a brand new ring that I got for Christmas from my aunt. I hope you guys like it. I really like it. It's nice and dainty, really pretty. And I am wearing a former, uh, it's a somewhat zen bracelet actually, that I believe that Ro, Ro made in one of the previous boxes, which I just to this day love. Anyway, back to Amethyst. It came with a little information card. Amethyst is a beautiful purple quartz said to possess both mental and physical healing properties. It is one of the most common stones in the world of crystals. Amethyst is the third eye chakra and is said to help balance emotions, calm the mind, boost the immune system, and reduce negativity. And you can hear everything sliding next to me. That's the box as I read this. You can benefit from amethyst by carrying the stone with you or by meditating and smudging with it or near your body or space. So there's amethyst. And these next items are smile cards, which I absolutely love the name of. Give these smile cards away to friends and strangers that need a reminder to pay it forward and always be thankful. So as you know, I like to get some examples. These are actually really cool. Each one is the same on front and back, so that's really, really neat. So you can literally give these away and not feel like that you're missing out on anything, um, which I do like. And then it literally says somewhat Zen Smile Card, so brilliant there, Ro. I like your uh, branding idea a lot. So smile knowing that you possess the qualities you need to be the best version of yourself. Dream, believe, do. And she's got the somewhat zen website down there. Brilliant. I love that. And then it says here, I'll pass it on. Someone cared enough to give you this card as a simple reminder of how wonderful you are. Now it's your turn to do the same for someone else. I've got some thank you cards and things I need to send out. So, Ro, this is a great idea. I'm going to be using these and promoting your box at the same time. I absolutely love that. And then here it gives a bunch of different tips uh, to who to give them out to. Those are awesome. This is the third item in the freebies bag. It's a Christmas in your pocket tool. And yes, I am recording this at a different time because I couldn't quite figure out how to get it to light up. But there was a little pull tab that I needed to pull out and separate. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. It's a really cool idea. All right, so when the tree is down, it's not lit, but then what you're supposed to do is push it up and you can see the little green tint. And obviously it doesn't, uh, you really have to have it pushed up quite far, but it uh, would definitely light up more in a darker scenario. So I'm gonna see if I can get it darker for you guys. All right, this is as dark as I can get it. I wish I could turn off the other light in the room, but you can see it's got some green shine to it. I'd love to get it totally, to ooh, there you go. See, the, the darker I go, the darker it gets, the more green you see. So I think it's a really cool idea. I really love it. And a very cute item <laughs> to put into a freebie bag. All right, this next item is came in a tin that reminds me a lot of the Zodiac candle tin that Emily used in the Happily Ever Hardy essential oils in her business when I unboxed products from her company. I love the design on this tin. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. We've got all the Zodiac signs along the outside and along the side. 
And I'm really excited because the label says it's a frankincense and myrrh beeswax candle. I love those two scents and I love them together. Uh, ingredients, beeswax, coconut oil, frankincense, and myrrh essential oils. Made in Kentucky, so I'm, it's a two ounce candle, probably made by Roe herself. So let's check it out. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. It, frankincense and myrrh are just so wonderful together. Plus, it's got a hint of, you can kind of, you know what a beeswax candle kind of smells like. You've got that, too. It almost smells like there's a spice scent to it, but I'm maybe that's just the oils combined or with the beeswax. I'm not sure, but it smells so good. I absolutely cannot wait to do, burn that. I really love frankincense and myrrh, I think. Definitely my favorite scent. So if that's any indication of what's to come, then that's probably the themed scent, in which case I'm so excited because I absolutely love that scent. Oh my goodness, you guys, look how cute. This is actually a soap bar. It looks like a little cottage. Can you look at the... I don't want to take it out of the packaging because I like to save the soaps for when I'm ready to use them. Although I actually, I do need another soap, so maybe I can use this one next. Um, but look at the intricate design on this brick. I love it. This is absolutely gorgeous. Same on both sides. And this is how the candle was packaged too, in case you're wondering. But uh, let's read that label. Again, it's frankincense and myrrh. It's a soap bar. Cleanse and rejuvenate. Ingredients, vegetable glycerin, liquid castile, coconut oil, shea butter, hemp seed oil, beeswax, frankincense and myrrh, essential oil, mica colorant. Wow, that sounds amazing. And it, you know, it recommends keeping it in a draining dish. I did get a draining uh, platform from, uh, I believe, I'm pretty sure it was her box. Uh, maybe the first box I'd ever gotten. I, I still use it. I, I love it. I love my soap drainer. I get tons of handmade soaps and in boxes and absolutely love all of them and love being able to preserve them as much as possible. That I can already smell it a little bit through the package. It smells really good, just like the candle. Wow, you guys, this smells, this is also frankincense and myrrh. I'm getting through the scented products just because they're amazing. This is a bath fizz. It's really like a bag of sand. It's so, it's so fine and grainy, but it smells, there's an additional scent to it. It almost smells like Christmas. <laughs> Meaning, I guess, that there might be some type of, it smells like there's a pine scent or something. Um, but it also kind of smells a little bit like men's cologne. I really love it. Oh, absolutely. It, it's very, it's got a it's nice soaky, sultry, smoky, sultry scent to it. There's some alliteration for you. But anyway, is, yes, a frankincense and myrrh bath fizz, four ounces. Ingredients, baking soda, citric acid, cornstarch, Epsom salt, frankincense, sweet almond oil, frankincense, essential oil, myrrh oil, and distilled water. Wow. And you, because it's safe and diluted, you can sprinkle this right into your water. You, I don't think you have to worry about, you know, it's not, it, it's not a good idea to put drops of oil right into your bath water, but because it's diluted into this fizzy powder, it is completely safe. Although it does say that Epsom salts can de cause dehydration, agitated allergies, and sleepiness. Do not exceed 30 minutes, no more than twice per week. Hmm, I actually didn't know that. I mean, I knew that Epsom salts can make you tired because it's the magnesium in it, but anyway. Moving on, I digress. You guys know how I like to get chatty. All right, to go right along with our bath theme, we have an exfoliating loofah. loofah sorry, and again, I'm going to keep this in its bag. It kind of reminds me of like some type of sea sponge or even. That's really cool looking. Let's see what this says. It's a slice of it. Benefits of using a loofah. Exfoliating dead skin cells deters cellulite, balances pH levels, and promotes circulation. I mean, you know, I've, I've always had such sensitive skin. I've never tried any type of loofah or exfoliation, but it might be worth a try on my legs sometime just to, like, you, you know, some a more safe um, area of the body just to see what it does, see if I get irritation or not. Anyway, how to use soap your body all over. Now gently scrub your body with wet loofah. Awesome. Easy and simple. And then it's a good hand size. I like the handheld aspect to it. That's a really nice item. All right, you guys, look how cute. It's a little gnome. It looks like we can hang him on a Christmas tree. There's a string here. Or Christmas or wherever you'd like to hang him. 
Look how adorable he is. Some things are still sliding. Sorry about that. Side profile. Front profile. Other side profile. <laughs> All right, now I'm just being silly. He came in a bag with a label, so good luck, gnome ornament. That's so cool. I love that. According to the product guide, this is apparently one of the whimsical items in the box. Ro, I'm curious to know if you made this. Because it is, it's, you know, I'm assuming you did a handmade product. It definitely looks handmade. Let me know uh, if you watch this video if you've made this. This is so cool. I might reach out to you. If I can uh, reach out before editing, I will update everyone in the box as I always do. Comments. Well, usually at the top. There you go. There are still four more items before the last two. It's a Zen type items. So let's look at this quick yummy snack. I got so excited when I saw gluten free. Uh, I really like that um, brands are inclusive these days. The gluten free pure butter shortbread cookies. These look really good by the brand Walkers. So that's awesome. I'm running out of room here. <laughs> All right, next we have a chapstick. Nature's Bees is the brand, and it's cocoa butter with olive oil. And this is the perfect for this time of year because, you know, everybody's get dried out skin and lips. And I did break, there was a safety seal. I broke it because I wanted to smell it. And it definitely has a bit of a cocoa scent to it. I really love the scent. That is going to be absolutely yummy to put on my lips. I cannot wait to use that. Now we have a tumbled crystal chips jar for cleansing, protection, positivity, and meditation. And there's a good picture of what the tumbled chips are. She packaged them really well in bubble wrap. So let's take them out and take a look at this jar. All right, this jar is absolutely adorable. It reminds me of like a jar of sand or something that's filled with seashells you get at a beach. Except these are crystal chips. Hold it down. I always hold things too high. This will look really great on my crystal shelf, just as something different to provide. And you get that little shaky noise, and it has a really cute stopper. I like the style of jar. It's a very nice product. All right, next we have a handcrafted, silver-plated, Tree of Life necklace. Usually there is a jewelry piece in here, which I love, and it's usually handcrafted. I love a little, there's some pink beads that go along it. It's pretty short chain, but I really, uh, I'm excited to wear it. I think it'll fit just fine. It's got the clasp, standard clasp on it. And the Tree of Life symbol has really cropped up over the years. And I really, I enjoy it. I think it's a really pretty thing to wear. So you guys know, as usual, if I can get a picture of myself wearing the necklace, I will insert it here. All right, I'm really excited about this next item, you guys. It's a planner, Make Today Ridiculously Amazing, A Year of Inspiration 2021 calendar, and it's got the Somewhat Zen logo on it. I really love this. This is so cool. And it's got 2021 and 2022 on the back. Wow. Can't believe we're in the new year, right? And it came with a sparkle gel pen. These were all the rage. And, and I really still love gel pens, to be honest. I'm especially excited that it's sparkly and it's green and it fits the theme and it's amazing. So let's look inside this calendar real quick. As usual, in somewhat zen style, this is amazing. I actually use planners like this. So I'm probably going to use this. I keep them in my purse because I'm old fashioned. And... Each month has a saying. For January, it's the first step is half of the journey. And that is completely the truth. I really would love to share all of them with you, but you guys know I'll be here forever and ever if we do that. But I've got to share a couple more. If I can turn the page here. Let's see, did I make it to February? Yes, I did. February. I love how colorful that one is. Be the reason someone smiles today. I absolutely love that. March, be the change you wish to see. That's my birthday month, so that's an exciting. Let's see, where's my birthday? It's on Tuesday this year. That's random. Oh, well. Good day to do a live stream. Hint, hint. <laughs> we'll see what happens by March, right? <laughs> Anything could happen. It's 2021. April is very season appropriate. Plant seeds of kindness. 
All right, for May, we have today is the perfect day to start living your dreams. Oh, I like the saying for June a lot. It says, do your best and your best will shine through. Perfect for summer and the sun shining again. I love it. July's is really special. I like this one a lot too. The right attitude makes each day a celebration. Yes, so wonderful. I'm over halfway there now. I realize I'm just going with it. Sorry guys, August, let nothing dim your light. I love that neon kind of theme. September, another very, very, very important one. Really, really resonates with me. Surround yourself with people who believe in your dreams. I feel like that's a must in life. Yes, October, strive for progress, not perfection. November, I need to keep reminding myself of this one. Small steps make a big difference. And December is a quite famous one. I'm sure most of you have heard it and probably all of these, but I just think this calendar is so cool and inspirational. You've got three choices in life. Give up, give in, or give it all you've got. And it's in a nice holiday type um, font presentation, which is very nice. You guys, this calendar has more features too. It's got uh, special places to write birthdays, anniversary, and other special dates for each month. Super cool. All right, here's a page that says 10 tips for good nutrition. I really like that, and you know what? I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I'd love to read all them to you, but if you'd like, you can pause the screen and take a look for yourself. Those look awesome. This might be the most, I think this is, the most handy pocket calendar I've ever seen. Emergency care and first aid, there's two whole pages on different things you might need in an emergency situation. What better to place than right in your purse or pocket where you would carry such a calendar. That's so cool. Here's another two-pager, 28 ways to fit into fitness. That's really, really, this is, this is so clever. I, I'm really impressed with this in case you can't tell. This is total somewhat zen. I mean, this really is. Eight ways to be positive and stress relief tips. I mean, seriously? And the signs of a stressful lifestyle? This is all amazing information. And you've got a very brief monthly to-do list and notes. I'm so impressed, obviously, in case you can't tell. It's truly amazing. I, I, I really need to ask the curator I think she made this on her own because it's got a somewhat zen logo. I will double check with her, but I really think she did. And I think I'm blown away. I mean, if this was on, if this was for sale and I was picking out my calendar that was going to go in my purse for the year, I would totally choose this one. This is just a fabulous idea and what an awesome item to get in a box, especially for the new year. And you guys, the green gel pen looks beautiful and writes real nice and smooth. I just tested it out on the product guide. Happy holidays. I love that pen. I love smooth pens. I'm a sucker for them. All right, and we have a famous zine made by the curator Rochelle herself. This is a mini zine, Merry Every Day. And I love looking through these because they're just quick and fun things to read about. Be humble, pay it forward. And of course, uh, here's more, be active, be forgiving, and it has different examples of how you can do these tasks. Be motivated, wear a smile. I like the be motivated one. It says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. That's a good one. And then on the back of the book, it just uh, has that it was made by her and copyright 2020 with the email and a website to the company. So again, Rochelle, a very nice, simple, simple reminder design. Very well done as always. All right, guys. So we got our 11 promised items with the amazing frankincense and myrrh scent. Honestly, guys, especially, I might be swayed by the themed scent of the month, but this was definitely my favorite somewhat Zen box yet. I really did like the one from May as well, but this one is this one has so many cool different items. Uh, of course, you know, I obviously loved that day, that monthly calendar. 
well thought out, perfect time of year, perfect perfect transitional year, if anything, where we need something like that. Uh, as usual, I love the soap bar, I love the candle, anything that this frankincense and myrrh scent is to die for. It's just really perfect. Um, and there goes our gnome. He fell off, but I also really love him. He was really, really cute. Can't wait to hang him up somewhere. So, you guys, I'm going to go over the shipping differences. Basically, the, the somewhat Zen curator worked and was able to get free shipping on the boxes because that was one thing she was finding. Shipping was a bit expensive. So she was able to get free shipping for us, which I think is amazing. But because of that, the prices did jump up a little bit. So basically, a price per, per, per subscription is for one month, it's $35.99 a month. It was $30 originally, so honestly, that wasn't a bad jump at all. And for free shipping, you know, so $35.99 is all you pay. You wouldn't pay any extra for shipping. There could potentially be tax, depending on your state, I suppose. A three-month plan is $102.97. Six months is $209.94. And a whole year is $395.89. I am so excited about this box. I can't wait to see what she does in the future. So like I said, they will um, be coming in padded envelopes now, which will be different. But it's definitely a great thing. It hasn't reduced the packaging, the look, or anything of the box. So that is super exciting. Thank you again to Ro for sending me this amazing box free to review. I'm super, super excited about it. I can't wait to use all these items. That's another thing I love about this box is they're all useful items. I can, I can say the one thing, you probably knew that I was going to say this. I do miss your artwork. I, Ro, I love your artwork. If you guys uh, haven't seen my May or June box, definitely check it out. She's got an amazing uh, painting and magnet in there that features her artwork. It's absolutely stunning. I can totally understand not being able to do it every month, especially for a December box. But these products blew me away. Great scent choice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What would your favorite item be? Um, and let me know what you think of the scents, frankincense and myrrh, if you smelled them both in together, individually, anything like that. I love to hear your comments. And please, guys, remember, if you like the video or like me, please give me a thumbs up. It'll help my channel. And if you haven't subscribed already and like to see all the crazy future wonderful unboxings that I'm going to do, please hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell all the way to the top so you get all the notifications of anything that gets posted. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.